place of survival. Doctors a court-ordered gang injunction prevents any known gang. Labeled an underachieving school in a place lowest performing public school. Months ago, Gompers. <laughs> Gomper Secondary, a failing school where fights broke out and SWAT was called, where there were chain link fences that could be closed so as to Fights, riots, police, and a school plagued with violence. These very words characterize Gomper Secondary, a school considered by many hopeless. How do you expect students to learn in this environment? When I first witnessed this video, I felt a sense of anguish. I could only imagine what went on behind these fences. These images will stay with me, and I hope they stay with you because, because we can never go back behind the fence. Gompers, yes, I said Gompers because I want you to know that I am not talking about Gompers Preparatory Academy. I am talking about the Gompers that was plagued by gangs and violence. <clears throat> I was told that on a regular basis, fights would break out. And the fences were installed by the district in order to prevent these fights. So they would cage the students in if a fight would break out. <clears throat> Fences represent barriers and obstacles. They are challenging to go over and challenging to go under. Gompers not only face visible fences, but they were also plagued with fences of the mind. Fences like these students will not graduate. These students will not be successful. This school is too dangerous. Today, at Gompers Preparatory Academy, we walk through clean, beautiful hallways only because the fences were removed. <laughs> Director went toe to toe with the entire district to remove those fences, to remove the barriers of our education, to remove the education to remove the obstacles of our future. Good afternoon, my name is Marielena Barrientos and welcome to my senior talk. This senior talk is about campus beautification or should I say operation beautification. This operation began when I assisted with the honor roll stage design. And I knew I was a very imaginative and creative person, so I knew this was what I could do. One day, <laughs> I overheard director and Mr. Suarez talking about director's top three priorities for GPA. And <laughs> it's funny. Director said, number one was music. Number two, safety. And number three, students' learning environments. I knew director had music down. And number two, I knew safety. Well, we are the safest school in San Diego and environment. This is where I knew I can use my imagination and my creativity to create a better and make a lasting impact on GPA. Let's be honest. <laughs> I used to hate coming to school. I thought every class was boring and I couldn't wait to go home. But one day, GPA, when my senior year came by, GPA started adding new environments. We got a lovely new deck and this is where the place I felt comfortable to get tons of work done. My beautification project had two motives. That was to inspire new places, and also my second was to take negative stigma away from certain areas around campus. A campus 
<clears throat> a school campus environment is an important aspect to the educational process. These environments are a crucial part to why students like to come to school. Remember the first video I showed you? This place had a very negative stigma. This place held students who were causing fights. And this place also holds students who are causing riots around campus. <clears throat> I knew, and this is what ignited the spark where I told myself I wasn't going to allow this place to be, be seen as that, and I wanted to eliminate the old memory. Project Cage took a lot of time to come together. <clears throat> In doing this project, I learned a lot of skills. I learned to present new ideas to director and also budget. I also learned that I needed to be patient, positive, optimistic, understanding, and hardworking. <clears throat> Project Cage made me think twice about how hard our staff members have worked to make this place grow. The Eagle's Nest. This is the new name the cage would receive because, as I said, we wanted to remove the old memory, so we called it the eagle's nest. Maya Angelou said, love recognizes no barriers. It jumps hurdles, leaps fences, and penetrates walls to arrive at its destination full of hope. <clears throat> My next project was to go in the route of building urban planters. And these planters was, to be a me was meant to be a gift to the students of the middle school science classroom. And with this design, I wanted to go in many ways, but I chose a popular old rustic look. Middle school students, I ask of you to please take care of these planters and know that beauty is everywhere, in, hidden in the strangest places, but you have to learn to observe it. In these planters, something special was planted. The lovely, elegant jasmine was planted. The meaning of this flower was love. <clears throat> and then this is I wanted to everyone experience the love that we experience each and every day here at GPA. <clears throat> and in this, I also want to show you guys. When you plant something, it gives you the opportunity to watch it grow. So, Soil is GPA's foundation to the dreams it was built upon. <clears throat> and the seeds, <clears throat> and the seeds represent the happiness, hope, success, love, and joy. Seeds transform a place from being dangerous and a school that was deemed to be, <clears throat> to be a school that was it didn't matter into a dream school. And lastly, if I can open this. Okay, this is water, but it's also what nurtures all of this. with a little bit of water nurturing and the sunlight, radiant joy. This is what becomes into, sorry. It becomes into a legacy. And this is our legacy. My next project 
was to focus on adding furniture. And I decided to add furniture to Miss Bianco's and Miss Sanders' hallway. But I also decided to build some tables for the courtyard. I also presented a variety of designs to director to, so we can add more furniture to our courtyard. To furnish means to provide furniture in a place. But to furnish also means provide what is needed and desired. And at GPA, they provide us with knowledge, education, advice, and opportunities to attend college. I want to tell you about a story of my life. A story about the fences I had in my life. The story is how I had a fence and I built it up. The fences I had in my life are I didn't trust people and I had an I don't care attitude. These fences became only because I was in middle school. The fences, I built them from small all the way to the tallest. These fences, I thought they were indestructible, and I thought they never would come down. And in my senior year, I got to experience something beautiful. I got to experience of how to remove these fences and how to connect with everyone. I also learned that if I had to tear the fences down, I had to love myself and I had to love everyone else. <sighs> I learned that my insecurities doesn't matter and anything else, any problem that you guys have, it doesn't matter. You just gotta tear the, the fence down. For four consecutive years, GPA has 100% of their seniors graduate. <clears throat> of 123 seniors, 89% has been accepted to, to four-year universities. And 76% of these seniors have also been accepted to a UC campus. And lastly, GPA has shown great success by having 46 students being accepted to UCSD. <laughs> GPA is a model charter school. It takes a village to raise a child, to change the environment you want to live in, but you have to make the change. I've been accepted to three colleges and I never thought it would have been acceptable. I got accepted and I'm now going to college in August and I'm so proud of myself. I learned that great things are done by a series of small things brought together. No matter how many structures GPA gets, it is the small things that count in this place. It is the details that make this, this place the best. And director, he said, love is in the details and love is what I provided for the school. <clears throat> I would like to show you guys a video of my experience.
love if it was, am I living it? Do I live in it? So astounding. Love is an ocean, you can drown me. The sweet embrace, the lovely taste, I taste the sea. I'm under grace, the place to be. It means I'll never need an umbrella. I'm cool in the cold. In the <laughs> I planted two seeds of joy. I planted a dream. I planted motivation. I planted hope. And I planted a legacy. We Gompers students see these changes, and for once we want this, because we see that it is good for us. Is it wrong for us to want good things? tell you guys that when you guys plant a seed it should be of something what you want to grow what do you guys want to see what do you guys want to plant do you want to plant success like I said hope or anything I planted my full self I planted my soul in there and I want you to guys leave off that everything <laughs> comes and it's stressful, but plant a seed of what you believe in. And I hope you guys experience all this with me. And this concludes my senior talk.